I've heard that your first startup was written in Smalltalk. Please explain. <laughs> I don't know what there is to explain. It's the best programming language. Um, well, uh, I had I'd worked on Lisp and Lisp dialects uh, before that. And uh, actually, I would worked on Lisp web frameworks. And uh, when we went to build our first startup, uh, we, we first wrote it in we first implemented it in Rails, and then I found, compared to Lisp, that development process kind of frustrating. And I mean, we don't need to get into the full details, but I thought that continuation-based web frameworks were really the right way to implement web applications. Uh, there were no continuations uh, in, there, there's no continuation-based framework in, in Ruby. Um, and uh, kind of searching around, I found that there was um, a good one that had just been written in Smalltalk. Uh, and so I decided to play with it a little bit. And then I found that Smalltalk is actually this extremely interesting development environment um, that had a lot, a lot of the aspects of Lisp that I'd really appreciated there, like um, you know, an, a, a fully interactive environment with a proper debugger uh, so that you can, you can edit the code while um, you know, in the middle of some web request or you know, in d deep in some stack trace or something. Uh, and you know you could, for example, encounter an error uh, with some web request, edit the code to fix the error, and then resume higher up in the stack such that the entire web request would just complete. And so rather than this kind of annoying feedback loop of having to add some log statements and like do this binary search to like find the problem and eventually like deploy you know, a, a fixed version, you know, a process that could take an hour, you could just like literally inspect the stack frame, see which variable has the wrong value, fix it, like, you know, jump back up, hit proceed, and have the whole thing work. So anyway, the point is, uh, in the hunt for this continuation-based web framework, uh, realized that Smalltalk, um, in general, had just a much more powerful development environment as compared to Ruby slash as compared to basically every other mainstream programming language. 